Welcome to Fanny Magnet. Right now in this video I'll explain you what exactly the phishing is and how it works. If you see on the screen I have a Facebook page but if you see the link you know on the top the on the browser you will see the link is completely different from a facebook.com. Now that's how the phishing work. Now normally when people want to steal any kind of information any kind of uh, information from anyone that they, they make this kind of such pages it may be a bank it may be a bank web page it may be a social media YouTube it can be anything okay then they create this kind of pages on a different server and then they normally send you a link on email asking you to sign in and check something so you click on that link and you get this kind of pages now this can be a bank web page it can be a Facebook for experimental purpose I'm using a Facebook page and I will also show you how you can make one and how this go this works okay now before we start this video let me tell you I really do not support stealing any anyone's personal information or getting into this kind of thing this video is just for the educational purpose this video is give you an idea how it work so if you are from an IT sector if you are you know you are learning hacking this this video will help you to understand how the whole thing works so let's get started now as you can see that I have created this Facebook fake Facebook page and the link you can see it's completely different than facebook.com now how you one how anyone can create this fake web page so the first thing you will need a filezilla okay filezilla is a software which allow you to put the pages on the domain okay so there are many different software but I prefer files filezilla and if you do not know how to use filezilla I will be making one another video on that how you can use filezilla in order to in order to go you know upload the web pages so first thing you need a filezilla then second thing what you need is the second thing what you need is the pages okay so the link is in the description when you go you, when you will go to this link this I have created a shortcut to go to this link when you will go to this link it will take you to this page media file and you can download this little you know 579 kilobytes of web page and when you will download you will get something like this okay you will have something like this on your or when you will download so what exactly you will need to do open the filezilla type the host name that will be a domain name the username and the password and click on connect once you connect it uh, by the way I've, I'm using a subdomain in order to just to test this things so that's the reason you see test dot and the name of the domain now once you go into that you will see www or you can click on public dot public underscore HTML or www click on that and once you enter that you will see test okay so when you will click on test when you will click on test you will see these pages okay these pages I have uploaded from here this okay so the process is very simple you just have to you can just drag and drop all the pages from that to this folder okay and click on uh, upload and once that is done your web page is ready and it will look something like this so let's take a quick look how it works as you can see this is a fake web page of a Facebook so I'll go here and I will type the username okay anything whatever my username is and in the password I will type I will type some numbers and something and here I will type let's say Fanny magnet and this will be like anything okay dot com or dot in whatever okay I'll select so 
as it is saying that would you like to save the password I will click no and here we go I don't get any web page okay now I'll go back here in this one in the filezilla and in my test you see that that's a test of the domain and here you can see that there is a something of there is a text file says users now I will download that text file okay once you double click on that it will get download in the folder and I will open that now so let's see how right, so you see that in the first attempt I tried test test and the password I typed that was test and nothing happens okay I got that this this was a username which I received and second time I tried that is fanny magnet at yhoo.com and this was the password I typed and I got this as a username of the second person so you see that it was very easy to you know to get someone's username and a password on the Facebook so this was a short video just to explain how the things work and understand this the intention is not to I don't want you to steal someone's information but just for your safety you can be you can you can play a safe game on the social network so this was a short video of explain, you know for the whole phishing thing so next time whenever you go on any web page or anywhere make sure that uh, you know what exactly you're doing what place you are in are you on the right link and especially when you're using a credit card make sure that the web page is secured and you don't get into any kind of trouble and the link for this media file the filezilla is in the description below description below and you can you can try to do some experiment on that and understand you will need a domain and a hosting in order to do that so if you think this video was helpful this video was worth watching hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more such videos and as always thank you for watching the video have a wonderful day